Hello students, welcome back. Let's take a look at exercise 7.5. This exercise is not really related uh, to whatever concepts we have learned. It is a totally different concept altogether and it is not based on your exam point of view. However, we will take a look at it, how it works since it's already been given in your textbooks. So first of all, what they have given is we have a triangle ABC. So what we will do is we will draw a triangle ABC. It could be any sort of triangle. I have just taken an acute angle triangle. You could take an obtuse angle triangle or a right angle triangle. What we need to do is locate a point in the interior of triangle ABC which is equidistant from all the vertices. So what do we need to know? The first thing, point that is equidistant from all vertices is known as the circumcenter. Okay, and when you take that, uh, when you take the circumcenter as the center, and you know any vertex as uh, from the center to the any vertex of the triangle, and you draw a circle, it will touch all the sides, uh, all the vertices of your triangle, and that circle will be known as the circumcircle. So circumcircle is locus of all points that touch the vertices of triangle. Uh, locus of all points that are equidistant from circumcenter as well as the circumcircle touches each vertex of the triangle. So how do we draw a circumcenter and then using the circumcenter how do we draw the circumcircle? First of all, you will take the perpendicular bisectors of any two sides. Let's say I take the perpendicular bisector of BC. What you will do is you will keep your compass something like this over here and more than half you will draw a perpendicular bisector. Okay. Similarly, you are just going to draw a perpendicular bisector for any other two sides. Let's say like this. Okay. Then I take for the perpendicular bisector of let's say AC. Similarly, I'll take the perpendicular bisector of AC and I'm going to this point here C, uh, I'll call it D is my circumcenter and this is going to be equidistant from all the vertices of my triangle. So using this D, you can draw a circle. D as the center and DA or DB or DC as the radius. So this point here, D is equidistant from all vertices. Now, this was the first question. I'm going to skip this second question for now and come back to it after the third question because the third question is exactly the same as question number one. So I'll say one and three. What they're telling you is in a huge park, people are concentrated at three points A, B and C. So if A, B and C, people are concentrated in such a way that at point A, we have different sides and swings for children. At B, we have uh, it's near which a man-made lake is situated and C is which, uh, which is near a large parking exit. So at these three different points, we have three, three different kind of people or places. Now, the question is you need to draw a point where should, uh, where should an ice cream parlor be set up so that the maximum number of persons are, can approach it. So again, this point will be the circumcenter because maximum number of people, th this point is going to be equidistant from all the points. 
so maximum number of people can approach when the when the ice cream parlor is situated at point d so i'll say this is for question number 1 and for question number 3 the ice cream parlor should be set up at point d so that maximum number of people can approach it so you will notice that question 1 and 3 are the same you have to draw perpendicular bisectors of any of the two sides of your triangle then connect uh, then join the two lines for the perpendicular bisectors take the point of intersection this point of intersection is the circumcenter and it is also the answer for the question numbers 1 and 3 now let's move on to question number 2 So in a triangle locate a point in its interior which is equidistant from all the sides of the triangle. So if you have a triangle ABC you need to take a point such that this point is going to be equidistant from all the sides of the triangle that means this. Now this point if you know is known as the orthocenter. Orthocenter is a point that is equidistant from all sides of a triangle i am sorry it is not ortho center it is the in center in center is a point that is equidistant from all the sides of the triangle and how is the in center made constructed by intersecting any two angle bisectors so how do you do this what you will do is you will place your compass and you will for angle bc angle abc you will draw the angle bisector so you will cut two small arcs over here by using your compass place your compass over here and cut two arcs on the arms ba and bc then just extend the size of your compass place the compass over here draw an arc similarly place the compass over here and draw an arc and then you join this point similarly now i will draw the just extend this line similarly what you are going to do is you are going to draw the angle bisector of angle a so you are going to mark two arcs over here and then placing your compass you are going to mark two arcs over here then you will join this point to a this point is the in center and this point is going to be equidistant from ab bc and also ac so with this we wind up with questions 1 2 and 3 of uh, exercise 7.5 the question number 4 is basically an activity uh, which is related to rangoli so maybe you can just if you find time you can try it out in the next class we will take a look at the summary of chapter 4 uh, chapter 7 triangles thank you Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.